Hello everyone and welcome to Tech Tips. This is Byron. Today I've got a tip from Anika Leclerc out of our Montreal office and uh, it's how to deal with hold downs. So this is a great great topic for us. Um, I've got two simple panels created and the first thing I want to do is actually show you uh, how we're dealing with the hold downs. So it's actually a, a family. I've got one for left and one for the right. Uh, and Anika, in this case, she's done something great, it's wonderful, she's added the hold down onto our stud family, renamed the stud family. Um, brilliant, I mean I've shown you how we can use, uh, add custom parameters to these families, we can change the shape of these families, we can do a lot of uh, things with these families, absolutely, there's a lot of versatility uh, for customization. Um, and in this case, this is an excellent application of just that. So I'm going to close this, and we'll talk a little bit more about how this will have a practical implication in the setup of these hold downs. We're going to use extra verticals. So this is one of our marker types. We're going to insert it as a component into the corner right over here and uh, we'll see the results. So let's first talk a little bit about the marker itself. So if we go into our framing uh, markers, specifically verticals, I've gone ahead, I've created these two. Hold down for left, hold down for the right. And essentially, it's just three studs with the hold down family on the right side and for the left one just the inverse three studs hold down on the left and I'll go into a plan view for us and we'll place these I've disjoined these walls by the way I think it's easiest if we're going to be doing this sort of uh, an adjustment um, and I'm going to insert these components right now so this is hold down on the right Let's put it right here for now. And then let's place another one. Hold down on the left. Let's put it right about there. And we'll align these guys to these reference planes I've made ahead of time. All right. So we've got them in there. Let's go back to a 3D view. I think we can safely delete these. And let's go ahead and create our panels and let's see what's going to happen with those hold downs on the ends. That's fine. And there you have it. Let's look in plan again. Fantastic. How simple was that, right? Beautiful, ingenious way of dealing with hold downs. Very simple, elegant. Uh, I really liked it. Uh, I hope you did too. Thank you, Anika, for the, the fantastic idea. And uh, that's it, viewers. Until next week, enjoy yourselves, and I hope you like this tip. Bye now.